Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back, guys. Let me just say it's good to be back. It is great to be back. I feel like every day, well, not every day, but like every new podcast, it just gets more interesting, you know? Yeah, this is, the, this is it. So, you know, it's me, Jose. And it's me, your boy, Fernando. And We're uh back. You're back. That's it, man. All right. Good more. We had a couple new experiences this week. <laughs> oh, we got a lot, lot of new experiences. experiences. <laughs> We got a lot. Of, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. But uh, shit. yeah, that's just uh, we, we, the topic from last podcast that we're gonna be transitioning into is gonna be uh, authenticity. That's the that's the idea. So we're just gonna get it started, dog. Yeah, I mean, what do you want to talk about? Authenticity, bro. Yeah, but like, where do you want to start? <laughs> As a spectrum, you know. I mean, yeah, there is honestly though. Let's just go with uh, how about just like being um being yourself when it's hard you know how about like saying your truth when it's i guess hard? it's been real you know to you yeah, to, everybody. to everybody yeah and like how deep can it go though you know because because like i'm realizing that it can go very like it i used to think i was real i used to think i was pretty authentic right which i which i am i am like i've been told you know i've been told and I've been practicing and a lot of people, I surprise a lot of people. A lot of people are surprised by the way I am, but I've had some recent experiences that have like shown me that like, it's actually a process bro. like, it's actually like, there's no point where you're going to be like, oh, I'm the most authentic, authentic guy like ever, you know, it's like a, it's a constant struggle because every day you're going to be facing new things. You're going to be, uh, you're going to be challenged at every moment whenever you're progressing and just living life. So I guess, I guess we can begin by like. Do we do, by authentic? Do you mean like there's only like all your characteristics are yours truly, or like do you mean like you're the same kind of person around anybody? No. Well, um, here's the thing though, and that's that's actually a really good question. The way I see it is like, so like. We're all like people want to be original, right? You can't be original. You cannot be original. I don't think you can because like we all build off of our experiences. So like our experiences kind of make us, and we also have like our internal beliefs and internal traits and stuff. You know, introverts yeah. or whatever you want to call it. But we're not. We're more so creative beings. So like the creativity isn't about originality. Creativity is about um, being able to mix and make connections between a wider range of. Uh, of topics or a wide array of experiences um and that's what that's what i would say would be like authentic, authentic. like you're gonna well yeah uh, everybody uh, has their own way of putting things together you know? right so it's like what is the way that you express your creativity or what is the way that you express yourself because yourself you know is an accumulation it's in a way an accumulation of all these different kinds of experiences that you live the people that you met um, mm -hmm. people who you grew up with and stuff so like authentic to me would be like how able are you to like sync up all of these things all of your values also all the things that you believe in and then like connect them and then express them in the moment when you need to that's it like when you need to do it and you feel that inclination to do it yeah and you do it that's i think authenticity right um but here's the thing the thing is that like uh at every moment or any new person um there's always going to be a new experience there's always going to be a new person and so then you're always going to be required to do something new you're always going to be required to kind of like step up to the plate and it's not going to be the same as the last time you went because as a new person, this, this requires something new from you, you know? And and uh, so for example, let's say in communication, right? Because communication is key, something I've been learning. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, so, and like there are many layers to it. But like, if you want to communicate your most authentic self, you have to be like- Well, you have to know yourself first. Of right, you do have to first know yourself. First and foremost. Because okay. if you don't know it, you can't express it. Right. That's that's we should have, we should even talk about that too. Like how to be how to you begin to be authentic. Dude, I was just talking to Alex about that yesterday, yeah. literally. Because he asked me, we we're talking about I think shrooms or something. 
Okay. And he's like, why you why you do it? And I was like, because it kind of helps you like know yourself more in depth. Like you know, it vanishes that barrier between ego and yourself. Yeah. And then by knowing yourself more, then you know what situations you want to be in, and which ones you want to. You, which ones you don't want to be in? Yeah. So like, you take preventative, like measures. Steps. Yeah. yeah, measures. For example, I'll say like, I don't um, like hanging out with. Uh, I don't like hanging out with like people that are like egocentric and like all about partying and shit like that. Right. So like, I know that about myself now. So now I, when I see them, I know how to spot them now. So I prevent myself from getting involved in that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And then if you know yourself, then yeah, you can express what you like, what you don't right. like. And and that's I think the key point also is like you just said like which is what you just said is like you know what you don't need, right? You know what you mm-hmm. don't want to participate in. So like, um. Not only are you not participating in these things, you're not engaging and like you're not taking your time, but you're also going out and pursuing the things that you do want. So it's like a two, it's like a, like a one act follows the other, you know, like I'm going to stop doing this. And then you, if you keep doing what you know you want to do, then you're going to start opening up new like avenues to like, or opportunities and experiences that will um, allow you to find yourself even more, you know, or like just feel better about yourself because it's kind of like a positive feedback loop, you know? Yeah. So like the more you explore, the more you find it. It's, and if you have to be in agreement with yourself that like, yeah, it's going to be challenging. Yeah. I know being authentic isn't easy, but I'm going to do it because I know it's something I want to do. And so then as you start doing this, more and more you also start like finding yourself more and more you start finding new things about yourself and then you're adding so then now you got a new a whole new set of experiences that you can start to develop and then create another like you might even like create another not like person but you create more you enrich your personality you know what i'm saying yeah you enrich your who you are i think that's that's kind of like the thing with like um with being authentic is because like you're like you're collecting all these things and like you're putting them like you know in in your belt or whatever they're like nutrients bro for a plant yeah like, you have to put the right amount of something so it grows right, right right but if you put toxic stuff then the plant dies yeah but you have to know the difference between what's toxic and what's not right yeah yeah i like that so i guess so then how okay so for you like what was your way of like like, what was, like, one of the first things that you were, like, oh, I don't really like this. Like, what was one of those first, like, steps for, that you took where you realized, like, I'm just not being myself or... Mm, I guess the most recent one will be, like, just smoking weed all fucking day. <laughs> like, it kind of felt good because, like, I was relaxed. Because, I, 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 I mean, the people that hear, I, like, our podcast, they don't know who we truly are. But, like... In general, like, I'm a person that is always thinking. Like, you don't know that. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm always thinking, not necessarily in a bad way, but, like, I'm always, like, there's always something in my mind. You're, like, analyzing constantly? Yeah, analyzing. I'm, like, I observe a lot, and, like, I also, like, well, you have to draw a conclusion from what you see. Right. So, like, I'm always thinking eh, anything. To be honest, anything is always going to be in my mind. So, like, a way for me to stop myself from doing that was just to smoke. Because when you smoke, you're pretty relaxed. You, like, focus in the moment, you know, like, whatever's right. going on. And that's why I also listen to a lot of music. Like, you, you see me with my headphones pretty much all fucking day. Yeah. And that's because, like, music just takes my mind away. Okay. Because, like, I focus on the music and then there's not that many thoughts in my head. Uh, so, like, what I learned recently was that i didn't really need to be high in order to control those thoughts um and that's why i've been like decreasing uh my smoking habit Mm -hmm. because like 
now I I realize I started to know myself a little better and I can control aspects of my life or aspects of whatever's going on in the moment so that I can uh, live in the present. And that helps me get rid of all the thoughts. Because when I have thoughts in my head, that's because I don't live in the moment, you know? I'm yeah. thinking of the past or of the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by learning how to be in the moment, then those thoughts go away. And then also the the des- the des- is it desperation? Like just the wor- Or just worrying. being desperate for like finding a way to kill those thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Like my need to like stop the thoughts goes away because now I don't have the thoughts. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like my head is not quiet. Like that's what that's why I can meditate now a little more. Because mm-hmm. I've learned to shut the fuck up pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that happen? Uh to learn? It's just a process, I think. Like I think I've been meaning to learn. And that's why I never really on. push to learn. Uh-huh. Um uh, and just one day, I just woke up and I was like, you know, I'm going to try to meditate today. And it was because I've I've heard you guys talk about it. So like, I kind of have an idea. Mm-hmm. But you never know until you really try it, you know? Right, right. Um, and then the first time I tried it, then I was like, it was not too bad. Like, it's not that hard. It was hard. But right. it's like, it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah. Um, and then the second time you try it, then you're a little better than the, t- the, the first time. And then and so on. Um, I think I've meditated maybe like four or five times now. Um, okay. And they always get better because the practice before helps you like pave the way. Yeah. So you already know time. which way you have to go. Yeah. Because at first I see it as a, this big ass, like if you want to make anything, like start on a task or uh, learn a new skill or something, um, everything is kind of like, I see it as a, as a feel full of shit you know there's like grass plants dirt all that and then in order to find a way through all that you need to explore you know to see which way you want to take mm-hmm. so by practicing that's kind of like the exploring part yeah because you already know the shortcuts and all that and, and what's dope is like you kind of like pick up from where you left off like yeah i feel like there's no because once you learn, you can't go back. You can't unlearn. Yeah, your 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 neurons like they're already connected, and there's yeah. no way you can break that connection. Well, I mean, you you probably could, but what I'm saying is like the knowledge of knowing like what meditation is like. Nobody can take that experience from you, mm. you know. So like, even like a few years down the road, you'll still be able to come back and be like, oh, like I I remember how this was. I remember how it felt, and I can pick back up from where I left off. Yeah, because you tried it already. <clears throat> yeah. Um, something that my mom will tell a lot because I used to be like a, a picky eater yeah. when I was little uh, and she would always say like just try it and then see what it tastes like if you like it then that's good I, then you don't need a taste and then if you don't then you know that you don't like that taste Yeah. so it's a win-win situation you know always yeah, yeah I like that I like that because it kind of connects with like just being authentic it's like you could be so you could it is like an experimentation right because mm-hmm. you have to be, in order to like feel like you're feel good about yourself in general you have to be doing things you have to be progressing you have to be trying new things out and if you don't then you're gonna be feeling bad about yourself you know if you sit and watch netflix all day like how you're gonna feel like by the end of the day or when you have to like look back at your life and like ask yourself how you feel so like you have to keep experimenting and and that's the process that like people kind of like don't like want to get into because it's kind of like scary bro yeah not gonna well, lie. it's scary it's don't know yeah 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 so but that's that's life though you have to do it you know what i'm saying like if you don't do it like something else is gonna happen like this whole epi- people are gonna be saying the experiences like we do instead right. of you experimenting it yeah like and even i don't want to hear somebody talk about it i'd rather i'd rather do it myself it. Yeah, yeah yeah it's kind of like uh like for me, it's funny because it's like I don't want to hear people talk about, um, I don't know, like the stuff that I know about, like spirituality or whatever. Like I've reached a point where I want to teach, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I'd rather just click off that and start teaching myself, like start doing the teaching myself, you know? And and so like 
But it also doesn't mean that you don't want to hear other people talk about it, you know? No, right. It's just like, you know, you should, you're not doing the thing that you should be doing. Uh-huh. Right. And, um, and everybody's like at a, like a specific spot where they, they can just like, they know where they need to go, you know? Like, I don't know. Like you, how, like, when did, like, what gave you like the, like, what was the thing that made you realize like, yeah, I don't, I just don't need to do it anymore. You know, like weed or whatever. Like it was just like, honestly, I just kind of woke up one day and I just didn't feel like getting high. You know, I was just right. like, man, like. But that wasn't. It wasn't like a single point, right? It was like an accumulation oh, no, of bro. a bunch of years of like. Oh, it's, but this knowing. has been months and months. Like I've had people tell me like you should stop, because like, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And like even me, I was like thinking about it more like in the economic side i was like bro i'm spending so much money on this yeah and it's like i i have the ability to like sustain right this habit yeah because yeah, i yeah. work and i have the money and all that but like i'm like what if i use that money for something else you know save it or travel uh buy things for my parents or uh, friends i don't know like any other shit yeah that will bring me more positives than negatives like fulfillment kind of yeah because like when you get high it's just like it's you that's it but you get high maybe if you share it with a friend then you're a friend as well yeah but like for example traveling to like dr okay that was like a whole new ass experience like new food new culture new people like bonding with you guys as friends like there's more pros and cons to it so like that was kind of like, I just hit that wall. Like, nobody told me, nobody pushed me. I just, on my own, made the rational decision that I didn't need it anymore because it was actually, um, I don't know what to call, but it was like, it was making me worse than making me better. Because yeah. then I wasn't getting my homework done. I wasn't even like doing my research. Uh, Going to work is getting was getting like annoying because I didn't want to like be there. Be there, yeah. and I was just like, man, like I remember my like the first time I tutored, I was like, I fucking love this because I'm sharing my knowledge with other people in a way that they can understand it. Because like, not to be a bitch or like an <laughs> asshole, but like a lot of the tutors that work at at my place, they just they don't have that uh drive you know mm-hmm. to like share knowledge yeah. it's just more like i work here because i need money yeah and then i just do my job half ass yeah uh whereas i really like do like i push for these mm-hmm. people to understand to like grasp the concept because if they understand it then they can pass it on to somebody else and mm-hmm. there's like a domino effect yeah i got you that, and you know what dude because i was thinking on this one on our trip Cause, when, cause we uh, what trip? Our trip uh, the two day, two nights ago. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was talking to um, to I don't know to you guys, and I was like, yo, like, you, you gotta like think about the. You gotta think about the. If you actually put yourself and like think about it, right? Like we're like fish in like the ocean, like we but as we swim, we cause like ripples. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like the butterfly effect. It was just feeling like I was just it's so in into that where I was like, well, maybe just me saying this thing can lead to somebody else mm-hmm. saying that same thing to another person. And it just keeps spreading and spreading and spreading. Yeah. And it's like, I was just like. every I think every interaction that you have with somebody has that potential of being a domino effect. Right. If you like, if you hit the nail in the right spot. Yeah. You can make a really deep change. Right, right, right. And, you know, I think what facilitates that, like, the biggest change is, like, you just being, like, the, being the person, you know, to be in the moment, which is, you know, being authentic and not lying to, like, yeah. anybody, not trying to, because you don't make any noise when you're being obnoxious, like, you, um, well, there's a difference between being loud and there's a difference and being obnoxious, because, because I was talking to Griffin about this, I was like, you can be loud and but that means like you're confident you walk in the room people know you're there but you're also like humble right but like when you speak people hear you and that means you're loud Mm -hmm. but like versus being obnoxious like 
you're trying to make up for things you, um, that you feel bad about yourself. And like people just look at you like, like, you know, you're just there. It's like just space, you know what I'm saying? And then they listen to you. It's also the same thing. It's just space. Well, they don't listen. They just hear. Yeah, they just hear. And so that, like, I think that's because like it has to do with the way you say things and also like like what kind of place you come from. I saw this on a YouTube video. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, it was like you're going to make if you want to make like if you want to be a leader or like you want to make change, you have to come from a place of abundance. Right. Because then that's what you give. Like you Oof. portray the abundance, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you come from a place of lack of lack, then everybody's gonna see that that you're like missing something. Right. So nobody wants to be you don't wanna nobody wants to pick up a burden if you're lacking. Uh but they'd rather be like they'd rather follow someone that they know that has more to give. Yeah. Cause if you need something, nobody's gonna come give it yeah. to you. But if you have to give, people will be there. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's something really important, dude, where, like, I was uh, I was thinking about, I was like, dude, like, I'm just in a place where, like, I feel rich. Like, rich in terms of, like, everything. Like, my life is rich. Like, my breath is rich. Like, I just feel everything. And I'm, like, like sensitive to, like, the world. And I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I am happy with, like, I'm, I just find, like, fulfillment in like the smallest of things you know like i find fulfillment anywhere i go it's not just on a specific person or a specific achievement or whatever and so by me doing that i put myself in in a in a state of abundance and i'm in a and i'm just giving and giving and giving without even trying you know what i'm saying like it's like yeah. um <clears throat> just me being there is enough to like you know make somebody's day or whatever you know and or say something meaningful you know because that's i can't not say the things i want to say because it's just like i don't have anything to fear anymore you know like there's like it's not like i'm looking for like you and me you and me right now like we're cool with like we're cool with each other right and we understand like what it means to be like in each other's position and we know how we have a general idea of how we feel about each other and so like I don't, I can, I can say like whatever to you and I'm not going to be stressed about you like stressing out too. It's like, cause that's like, it's just an agreement that we have. We both know what is, what it means to like feel good and like we're feeling good now. And I don't think like anything can like really like mess with that because it's just a, uh, it's just an interaction that, you know, I don't know, like there's no, what is it? Like, there's no insecurity, you know? There's no distrust. There's no, like, whatever. It's no, just, like, like... I don't know how to explain it either. Like, like I can just be myself around, right. and then you can be yourself around. And, and, and like, we're cool with that. Yeah, there's no judgment. There's, like... Yeah, yeah. like a judge-free zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Planet Fitness. <laughs> Planet Fitness. Um, um, yeah, but, like, I even... I noticed that with Griffin, too. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't remember... I don't know if you remember this, but, like, the first time I, I went to Griffin's place, uh, that one time that we played soccer at like 4 a.m. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We were all drunk, yeah. Yeah, that night, bro, like, he caught me, like, feeling weird. He's like, it looks like you don't want to be here, bro. Like, and I, to be honest, not going to lie, I didn't want to be there, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, why am I even here? Like, because <laughs> I couldn't, I, I didn't, like, I don't know, I didn't like... You were thinking about it, right? I was thinking too much. Yeah, I yeah. was thinking of something else. And yeah. I was like... And then it got to a point where I lo- I was just like, why am I thinking of that if I'm just having a good-ass time with this food? Was like, mm-hmm. And then that's when everything changed. And I feel like you guys caught it. You're like, oh, I feel like he feels more... Like, cause you, when you, you feel when somebody feels yeah. weird or yeah. uncomfortable. You do. And, like, that's what happens a lot when, like you meet like new people mm-hmm. uh but like it gets to a point like when you actually become friends then that are, like you 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 have like a comfort zone or yeah, like yeah. a judge free zone like you kind of read like you kind of read their waves you know like you yeah. read, you know which one you align with and whenever they're out of that one that one specific wavelength yeah you you're like tell. oh crap it was like some, when we went to the dining hall bro we were like 
us three, we were like on the same shit, yeah, yeah, same yeah. way. Yeah. We walked in, dude, and I literally felt like everything else was so different. Right? Yeah. Like everybody else was on like something yeah. else. It was a diff- It was like we were a we were like a portal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like I just felt weird in there because like you feel the vibe and then. Yeah. That happens when like I meet people that I don't click with. Like I right. feel like there's like a friction, and you have to learn to acknowledge or like identify that feeling. Right. And it takes time. Well, like, dude, because um, you feel weird. But some people are like, "Why do I feel weird?" And they try to like they think it's make, themselves. Yeah, they're like maybe it's me. So they try to make up for it and then try to be cool. But it's even more. It just the, makes it more uncomfortable. The gap is even bigger now. Yeah, because then you're trying to fake somebody who you're not, right? Just right. to have that person like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, like, if I was back in like not even high school, I don't think I've ever been like that. Like, uh, I call those people like ass kissers because like they just want to kiss someone's ass to like make sure yeah. they like them yeah, yeah yeah. i've never been like that but i feel like to a certain extent in high school like that was kind of me right. just to like fit you know but like now that i know myself a little more now that i'm more authentic right i just i don't have to kiss nobody's ass because that's not me so like i take myself out of the equation and i don't have to deal with that kind of bullshit it was like when i told you about that party that i went to yeah yeah, yeah. that i noticed like everybody was just like they're like different they're like all big ba- I, I mean i don't know if it's basic but like they're all just trying to get fucked up uh same shit find a girl or a guy whatever yeah they are and then have like a one night thing and then dip yeah and i'm just like man i'm just here to like have fun you know connect with people like find mm-hmm. out what they like what they don't and then see if we can like benefit from each other you know yeah see if maybe this person like he's into like music right and he does like music production and shit like that and maybe i want to i don't know maybe i want to throw an album out there and maybe this person can help me out you know like that's what i go out for like i go out looking for people that we can all benefit from each other connect yeah but they're all like on this different mindset where they just want to benefit themselves yeah so that's why it's weird. It's it's hard for me to like, click with people. Yeah. And that's because, like, you feel that friction. You're like, these people are not on the same kind of, like, wave. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe it's just hard right now because you're just not going to the right places, you know? Yeah. It has to be... You have to look in the right place right. also. That is, yeah. And that's why, that's why when you find out who you are, it's kind of like, I think I will fit best if I go this route, you know? Yeah. And then you just keep expanding. It's kind of like what happened to me when I started dance. That should, that just changed my life. It was like, I love dance, and I just get me more people, more people like that. We're back, and uh, yeah. So I was just thinking, man. I was just thinking, man. I was like, we need to talk about, and that's kind of where we're going. I was like, the power of authenticity, because we're talking right now about, you know, how to be more authentic and like what, like kind of uh, you know, we were t- we're getting to the benefits. And I was like, dude, like I was, I realized, I've realized a lot of things um, because I've been cut off, right? I cut off, so I cut myself off from a lot of people, um, uh, partly because of like COVID, like we didn't have much chance to talk to a lot. Like I just didn't hang out with a lot of people. Um, It was a weird, weird times. And so then I just started to like my grind, like I was just meditating, going to the gym and just reading, doing my things. And I've, and I found, Alexa, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alexa's trying to get into the podcast. But, uh, no, yeah, so I was doing all this stuff, right? I was on my grind, I was doing my thing. And, and uh, I realized I found a point, like a rhythm. I found my rhythm, you know what I'm saying? I found, like, kind of, like, how I flow and, like, what I like to do and, like, my own, like, wavelength to say, right? Mm-hmm. and um and i was drinking the other day um we were all drinking and i was like i was like man like i feel like i'm above every single person in this room you know like i'm just like high but not even like high in terms of like you know it's drugs. just it's just uh huh not in terms of drugs yeah yeah i mean like i'm just high as in like my vibration kind of like my own person feels so sure of himself that like mm-hmm. 
I feel like I could go anywhere and I can do anything. You know, like any situation that arises, like I'll I'll be there and I'll I'll like I'll beat it. You know, I'll overcome it, right? And and so then I was there and, and I was I was like looking at other people and like how they were interacting and what they were talking about. And I and I was like, dude, like the the problems that used to bug um used to bug me were mostly because I was afraid of like being my own person, right? And doing the things I wanted to do mm-hmm. and like the feedback I would get from that. But now that I'm getting in this rhythm, I realize that once you stop like, you know, caring about that or you or you stop focusing on that but you come back into yourself, like you reach this real like re- like a like a high point of um of competency of like just being able to do anything and like and so i apply this because the biggest thing for me was like i know i could do like i was always good at school i was always like good with like it, like analytical stuff and then i always learned and then i always had trouble with like girls and stuff and so i was like now that I know I can do that, like, I feel like I can go anywhere, dude. And it's just like, not even that, I, I can tell whenever somebody's not being authentic, you know? And that's what we were basically talking about now. And so, like, I think that there's, like, a power, like, there's a lot of, like, there's, like, a greatness or, like, a light or whatever that is within, like, within you. And And the closer you get to who you actually are, the more and more you become that light and it's like any interaction you are the you you just shine a light on everything you know what i'm saying like you can see you can you can read people so easily like that couple that walked into the bar right we were at um casa <laughs> and like there was like this chick um she was she was like attractive obviously and this dude was right next to her and like you just saw them and you're like dude this this is like so but, superficial but you- like you read them not because of their looks, but the way they interacted. The way they interacted, right? They were just sitting there, looking at their cups, looking away. Just it's like that look of like I don't want to be here, right? And that's when you when you that's when you start drawing conclusions of like they probably don't even like the they probably don't even like each other that much, and then we could tell that the dude had money because. The girl had like a shit ton of like plastic surgery, um, so that's when you start drawing conclusions and you're like, yeah, you start reading people. You're like, yeah, you're like, you saw, you see something's off. Yeah, and it's like, inst- it's almost like instant, bro. Cause um, yeah, you can't hide it because it's it's your just body there. talks for you. Yeah, like body language is so powerful, bro. Yeah, well, it's not even it's like definitely body language, bro. But it's like. I, I, I just keep getting to like the feeling, like the feeling that's uh and that's what I was thinking about when I was on acid. It was like the feeling is everything. Like the way you feel about yourself, it, it's it's the body language is only a, a, a reflection of how you feel. Everything is only a mm-hmm. reflection of how you actually feel. So for example, physiologically, you know why lie detectors work is because the physiology only expresses what's internally there, right? So that's that's one point the um the biology that's it let's talk about like the way um like your organs are working the way all these things like the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system or whatever they're also just a reflection of how you feel or um look into like body language you were talking about it's only another reflection of how you feel so you you start these are ways of reading um just what's already like what's deeper inside there and if you can actually like if you can get to your own like deeper aspect of yourself then you can start to read past all the superficial things like past like the material stuff past the flesh and into what like somebody's soul you know what i'm saying and so that's when you're like okay this person like automatically you pick up a vibe and then you just and then it's funny because then you just sit down and, and you observe and you just watch the vibe play out yeah it's, it's like a it's like a show and it's kind of like and it's kind of like we're all walking depictions of what we actually feel like. You know, we're at every single moment expressing exactly how um, sure we are about ourselves or how good we feel about ourselves. Um, we're always expressing our belief systems, how we think, all of these, these things. 
can be read if you can get past um the past bullshit. all the bullshit past whatever and you look deep into like somebody's soul you know what i'm saying and so then like people a lot of the times um because i remember like for example like text conversations like i hear i used to hear guys because i hear guys at the bars like always like talking about girls right and they're like oh it's because she said this blah blah and then like i'm like oh dude like if you did you just it, that's basically like a simple like she's just like shy or something like anything is and you just have to do and the way i was like is like you just have to do this and you're good but then people just keep like but what i'm saying is people like go in circles and make their life more stressful they worry much more than they have to just because they're playing off the superficial like stuff that um we're we're like very dependent on seeing and they never get to the core of things and the reason why they're struggling with like interpersonal relationships is because they're not they don't have a good relationship with themselves and so then that's where it's like if you really want to like be above everything else you have to first get above everything else get deeper into like deeper than like what like is seen you have to get into what is felt and like um and that's why you know that's what i took i take like psychedelics and that's why i meditate because it's like when you del- like, when you delete everything else and you actually have to ask yourself what it is you are or what it is you actually like care about what do you actually want out of life like the answers are clear you know the answer is like i want to live a rich life i want to experience like um a good relationship i want to like love and feel love like all these things it's something that everybody wants everybody wants it Mm -hmm. but like they're not acting like it you know they're not acting like it because they're not pursuing it like you said earlier like you have to like try you have to explore all these things because as you do this you're getting closer to that place and you're not doing it because of uh like because you i don't know it's something where like you're just doing it because it's something you want to do you know it's something you want you want something out of life you know you want i don't know you want to be you want to help people to become a doctor right but people are in college and they're and they're they're being a doctor because their parents told them to you know what i'm saying they're not they're not really they want to help people but maybe it's not by being a doctor maybe it's by i don't know being something else so what i'm getting to is like well, as you start becoming more yourself and as you start realizing what it is you actually care about, you start asking yourself these questions. It's like the answers are very simple because people are trying to work on the superficial stuff. Like I'm talking about like um, they want they want to, oh, like making money or um, the what career they want or what diploma they want, what name they want, what kind of like how they want people to see them versus actually being like well no like what is it that i actually want like it, it'll come down to only a few things and that's like the the deepest part and then as you start expanding you get to like your personality oh okay so i have to filter this drive through the way i behave through my personality and so then as you do that you expand a little more into more superficial stuff you're like okay so then Maybe I can start doing it into dance, or maybe I can start doing it in writing. And then you keep expanding, expanding, but you have to keep coming from here. Cause then if, you, if you're here and you're trying to go over there, you have to, it all comes out like that, like a hand, right? So you have to like, kind of like retrace back to the center so you can come back to that place, come back to that place. So, <clears throat> so that's what, like you, that's like the power right there. That's what I'm saying, like, and, that's why I felt so good being out there because I was just, I just, I knew why, why I was there. I was doing it there and um, I was feeling good while I was doing it. And so then like nobody could come in and like take that away from me. And, and so I don't know, that's why like just being yourself, being your own person, it's just going to be, it's just going to lead you to that feeling and you're going to feel that way. Well, well, my goal, the ideal would be, you know, I want to feel that way all the time, right? That's how I want to feel all the time. So, um, yeah, and, and I just keep doing it. You're going to find out more ways of doing the same thing, and it's going to be another trip, you know. And, um, yeah.